how to put a reef tank on a budget. Let's go get some farts. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on! All right, I know I put some stuff out here. It's been a while. But I find rocks everywhere. There's some pieces of rocks we could use for that tank. It's a nice flat shelf. I can glue that on to something epoxy it. So, very cool. This is where I collect all kinds of stuff. All right, these were some inserts I made for a giant tank and I haven't finished them yet. They were supposed to be coated with a reef safe epoxy. Um, and these were designed specially so that they're every flow, everywhere you see it, it gets light and the corals can actually grow on all over it. So this was a special design that I made. Um, I just haven't finished it. <laughs> like you see here, it's for the fish to hide under for corals. It's got this crazy design, it twists around. I was really, really proud of it. It actually took me a long time and I used PVC. So I am gonna remake these inserts someday. Um, I just, like I said, haven't had time. But they're pretty cool. The fish go crazy just looking at them. They're jealous, they want these in their tank right now. So anyway, my point was to come out here and find some rock. All right, how many people have a sink outside filled with rock? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, here's some pieces that I'm gonna take and put together for that tank. And we got plenty here. We'll be able to shape these up and make something really cool. So, I'll probably put some bleach in a bucket and, and bubbler and a power head and clean these and then let them dry. So, since we're in no rush to get that tank started, we're just setting it up and building it that it'll give me plenty of time to do this. So I'll pick through here and kind of set it up and figure out what is gonna give me the best look for that tank and without over populating the tank with rock. So that'll be part of the build as well. Family, you gotta be faster than that. Come on, let's go. Griffin. What'd you guys see, huh? Billy, we're looking for a tank. Can you find it? Come on, guys. Griffin. All right, I knew we had something back here. This is an old hermit crab tank that my kids had, and it smelled because I think a hermit crab died in there, and we left it out here for about, I'd say about five years. So, Nice score. I'm gonna take this thing. I'm gonna clean it up um, Get all the spiders out of it, and I think this is gonna be our sump For our tank and it may be a five gallon tank. It look kind of looks like it. So We'll clean this thing up Let's go look for a real tank Correctly, I think we have something here. Score! We have a 20 gallon tank that has been sitting here forever and it looks like it's been used for storage. So, we are going to be taking old aquarium parts. There's a heater in there, there's all kinds of stuff. We'll even use the old refractometer um, and we'll pick out some lights. But we're going to set this whole reef tank up just using spare parts like I said reefing on a budget 